Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we'll be looking at the new monster skill balancing modification and improvements. So, hopefully, we get some cool nerfs for some, and then some buffs for some underrated monsters. That can make them really shine. So, first one, we have the water hollyberry cookie macaron guard. That's the one I was, I was a little bit um, against. Not not because it's too bad, really bad. It's just because it's been pretty pretty good on defense, and I don't have it, so I've been getting wrecked. So let, oh oh stun so stun rate becomes they half the stun rate, and they reduce the damage by twenty two percent. So they nerfed her. Okay, light mermaid her passive. So it changed from activates when an ally, including yourself, gets attacked, to. Passive effect activating when an ally excluding herself gets attacked. And the passive effect is increased chance of glancing hit. So I guess if you just hit hit Molly herself, you have the normal crit rate. Crit rate, but if you hit her allies, then you have a hard time critting. Okay. Dark Armusha, that's the one that I have that I love. No longer increases damage by 30% when attacking an enemy. No, what the hell? Nah, come on. No. That's the one thing I love. Because if you don't know, his passive is if he's stunned. Oh, and on next turn, he wakes. He, the stun goes away or sleep goes away. And he does like 30% more damage. So that sucks for me. Okay, next one. Desert Queen, Dark, Passive. Uh, attack the enemy, uh, target un attacking an enemy, target under harmful effects, silences for one turn. And then they nerfed it, so it's 60% chance. And then, which is technically 80, because due to skill ups. Okay. Azio. Okay, I, th I think we've been seeing some, some um, our new c collab monsters. Getting some buffs or nerfs. Yeah, this is, this is what I was waiting for before I 6 start any of them or skilled them up. So Ezio Fire is passive. So they added the effect of ignoring the enemy's de defense for an additional 20% when attacking an enemy without beneficial effects. Oh crap, okay. And then Water and Light Ezio and Distraction. I think Distraction is just like granting an ally target or yourself like Provoke. No, no, not Provoke. It's like the... What was it? It's like the one that the fire paladin does. Okay, so effect added additionally grants counter attack effect on an ally target. So both Ezio, Water Light, and Altair Light gets that. So just <clears throat> also grants counter attack, which is pretty neat. The small buff. So Fire Wind Dark Ezio, Nimble Assault, decrease attack bar. So, so by additional 20%. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then. Light is yo. Air assassination. They added the effect that it'll decrease the turn. Uh, the skill cooldown is decreased by one turn if enemy dies. Okay. Now we're now hitting Bayek. Fire. Rampage Rush. They just add that. Just decrease the enemy. Uh, the decreased defense on the enemy. With 30% chance. Okay, cool. Fire and Light for Elite Ambusher decreases the enemy's attack bar by 25% each, so it's a 5% increase. Okay, Bayek Wind again, so now the, the changing his passive of Sickle Blade. So before it was in Flick Continuous Stand for two turns, now it's just three turns, so it's increased increase the amount of turns. Then change Bayek Lights. Uh, uh, Skill, Violent Rampage, it just adds, well, it's kind of like, adds like an innate vampire rune effect, recovers HP by 30% of the inflicted damage. Okay, so now Dark Bayek, passive again, and they add, they add effect, which is remove one beneficial effect after being stunned from the enemy attacked by the eagle. So, eagle has to stun, and then remove one beneficial effect. Okay, then we're hitting Cassandra. Fire, Wind, Dark, Hero, Strike, Damage, Increased by 10%. Okay, small, small buff. Ivor, Water. I think Ivor's the one that 
for say you need house uh, reach specific stats for all three runes to activate. So her yeah, so the changing of passive. So passive activation condition is mitigated. Okay, so with the required conditions for the stats to activate the passive effect when the battle begins, mitigated. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it means it's lowered. I don't know. Okay, next one. Now it's Ivor for wind, water, and dark. Throw Axe Fury, which I think is skill 2. You just added the effect. Decrease attack bar by 20% with a 50% chance. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fire and Light Ivor. Harpoon Impalement. They added decrease. Oh, they changed from decrease attack bar to absorb enemies attack bar by, by 50%. That's pretty cool. That's definitely way better. Okay. Let's see. Then there's Dark Totemist. Half Moon Tribe Totem. It's increased the Provoke turn, which is pretty good. Howl. Oh, the thing Howl. Dark Howl. You just added decrease the skill cooldown. Okay, of, of, of attack attack by two turns if Cha Cha and friends fail to switch the attack power with the enemy target. Okay, that's alright. I don't see why we're using Dark Howl that much. Okay, now I got the pure vanilla cookie pudding princess. I think I think I have the fire. fire. I know I have the water one. I think I have the fire one too. Fire and water. Okay. So first one's fire. They're changing the passive. Change from attack bar increasing effect granted on allies increased by 30% each to attack bar decreasing effect granted on allies. But enemies decreased by 40%. Um uh, so I guess uh, it's more of our defensive now. So against like Triton or like um Chung Pung or like Oliver. Okay, so now moving on to the wind, same thing with the passive. Change from reflex thirty percent to fifty percent of the damage dealt to the shield. Okay, cool, cool. That, that's pretty good. Then now is the water and dark, which is the skill the change of skill too. I think it's like the Damage plus uh oblivion, so they 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 made a skill cooldown decrease by one turn. Okay, that's that's awesome. And then now it's fire, wind, light, pudding princess. It's there's also the second skill. I think it's there's the. I think it's that that's just the. Either the single target heal or, uh, AOE shield. Let's see what it what it is. Yeah, I think it's shield. Yeah, increase the shield amount by five percent. Okay, bigger shield. Now we're going with the Valkyrie. So this is a fire one, skill two. Added effect: remove one beneficial effect granted on the enemy target. That is actually pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. Water Valkyrie. I already like using her, especially on siege solo siege. Same thing. Skill two. Freezes enemy target for one turn. Oh my god, okay, that, that is real fun. Now it's a light Valkyrie Uh, skill, uh, skill two as well. Increase the ch enemy's chances of landing. Okay, so increase glancing. Okay, now we got the Dragon Knights. We got the water one, which, which, which I have. I also love. Uh, I think it's um, what, what, what is he called? Um, water with a Dragon Knight. Yeah, I can't really, I can't really think of his name right now. But he's pretty neat, so the changing is passive. Ooh, okay, this is this is definitely I think a slight it's like a buff in a nerf, so he he removes two harmful effects instead of one, but he used to recover fifteen percent every turn, but now it's only ten percent. So that's that's a little little bad. And then the light dragon knight change the passive. Added effect increased the enemy's chance of landing glancing hit for one turn when counter attacking. Okay, so inflict, inflict increased glancing whenever he counter attacks. Okay, now we got light occult girl, her skill three. So it used to inflict down damage proportional to their max HP, now it's HP and defense. Then the skill, the, the change effect, so it used to be attacks all enemies and then increase the defense above, above all allies by three turns. But then, now it's increased defense and then attack. Because that makes sense. Because after you increase defense, it'll affect the damage. Because now the, the skill 
is based on HP and defense. <clears throat> so I would say the light, a cold girl, would be, the build would, wouldn't probably be changed. Just make it as tanky as possible and fast and tanky. Because I think her skill 3 strips. You know, I got Fire Monkey King, which is also pretty fun. Change the passive. So they add another condition to the passive. The passive effect activates whenever the enemy's turn ends. Okay, so it used to be just whenever he gets hit, his passive is activated. Now it's every and every time the enemies um end their turn. Yeah, so if people just avoid hitting uh the fire monkey king, then he just never stack, but now he always at least stacks a little bit. So Panda Warrior Fire changes third skill. It used to be inflict damage proportional to defense and max HP of the enemy. Now it's changed to proportional to your defense. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the damage went, went down a little bit. But then it says increase the damage by 20% for each harmful effect granted on the enemy. So I guess if you have good accuracy, you can kind of make up for the <clears throat> for the damage. If, if you keep landing all the harmful effects. And then, so if you land glancing first hit. The second, third, and fourth hit will do twenty percent more damage, and if the second and and if the consecutive hits also put debuffs, then all those hits will do twenty percent more. So that, that 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 could be fun. Can win cannon girl. Wait, I think this was one. Uh, was it was like the one the least desired from Nat fives. So now, oh, okay, they give it the dark cannon girl treatment. Tax once becomes attacks twice. In the first attack grants oblivion. Okay, that's really good. Oblivion. In the second attack attacks all enemies. And inflicts damage to in proportion to the number of allies alive. Okay. It's, it's meh. Okay, next one. Okay, now we're going to the the cookie knights. It's all of them. This is their uh I think I think it's their first skill one. Now it's decreased attack power with a 50% chance. So increase of 20%. That's pretty good. And then now it's the water. Minor Lion Chocolate Knight changed its passive. They added the effect that recovered your HP by 20%. Nullifies fatal damage. So, okay. So if you have effect one health and you have continuous damage, it nullifies that. Removes harmful effects and then recovers HP. Okay. Kind of, kind of like, oh, it's Chow. I remember Water Dragon Knight. His name is Chow. Kind of like Chow. A little bit, little bit like Chow. Now it's the Wind and Dark. Choco Knight. This is their second skill, I believe. Or third skill. I'm not sure. The chance of activating all harmful effects is 70%. Okay, so now they increase by, tw increase by 20%. Okay, cool. Now it's a Light, Madeline. I use that. I use that. I built it, but I don't use that much because it's kind of underwhelming compared to his Fire Brother. So now silence for enemy for one turn to two turns with the 50% chance. I mean, it won't really change anything, but that's pretty neat. Now it's the dark one. Effect added increase attack, the, uh, decrease the attack bar of all enemy by 25% each. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we got a little bit of samurais. Uh, they change their skill three. Uh, the skill three not only activates on your turn. Okay, so. No counterattacks. And effect changes. Gains immunity and generates a shield in proportion to a level when third skill is activated. But now it's instantly gets a turn when the big skill is activated. So you do the big damage and you instantly get another turn. Okay, that's actually that's actually really good. Now the water one, I think it's skill two. Okay, now you can decrease the attack by the hundred percent chance. Okay, that that's also really good. Wind Samurai, same thing, second skill. Now they add an effect that steals all beneficial effects from the enemy. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, now let's see what stats. So Light, Ivor, and Dark Volkrija stats changed. I don't really use any of them, so it doesn't really affect me that much right now. And then Battle Angel Fire and Wind will change Awakening effect. Thank you. God, man. I don't know why they have resistance. So, the Fire Battle Angel now is cr increased crit rate by 15%. And the Wind Battle Angels increased speed. Thank God, I have both of them built. I don't use them that much because they're too 
squishy and their awakening does nothing for them. Okay. Um they added some awakening skills. It's just for assassins, right? I don't use any of them, but if if any if, if any of you guys use assassins, these these would be pretty pretty good. Leader skills. And then they change errors. Okay. That's pretty much it guys. So that's the current for the, the next balance patch. Hope you guys like my video. And if you do, please like and subscribe.